All right, everybody, welcome back again. One more installment of Nutshell News. So, the nutshell of it is, we're basically where we've been all along. There's still proposals floating around. There's still changes to those proposals floating around. There's a lot of misinformation floating around. So, all I can sum it up for you is still nothing has been finalized all the way through the president. So, yes, there are talks of, um, like Trump, he he has been uh, quoted as saying that he's very sure that there will be a phase four stimulus package um, that, the God, that the people need it and he's urging the Senate and um, this, oh my God, the House, geez, wow, this is what happens when you record on a Sunday, um, to come up with a package that everybody can agree on. Now, the government is supposed to shut down on July 3rd for two weeks, and the expectation is that they will not convene to even remotely start finalizing what that phase four will be as far as stimulus packages until after they return from that two-week break. So we're still looking at the end of July bare minimum before they even decide on whether or not we're definitely going to have a new package. So what's my point of doing this video? Well, once again, there are so many videos floating around saying, yes, you're going to get it. Yes, you're going to get it. Yes, it's been approved. All that. None of those are true. They, these people are guessing based on random quotes by different uh, members of Congress, different members of the Senate, even Trump himself. And the fact is, none of these have been finalized. So... It's all guesswork right now on whether or not any of it will even get approved. There's speculation going around that a certain member of the government made comments to the effect of anybody on Social Security insurance or disability are in a state right now where they are comfortable and won't need a stimulus package, which we all know that's bull. Whether or not that was said, I could not find an actual clip of the man saying it. I only found websites quoting him, but I could not find him actually saying it. So, I'm not going to point fingers without definitive information. Um, now, as of last week, over a million people applied for unemployment. That is the 13th week in a row where over 1 million people have applied for unemployment. Now, they keep saying unemployment is going down. So, if that were true, then that would mean that over a million people got off of unemployment, too. So, that's the only way that's going to work. I don't know for sure because they don't really give you that definitive information. They bounce around, they give you percentages, you know, 14.8 down to 13.3, you know, I mean, it's, the bottom line is there's still a lot of people on unemployment, and they're not going to get off unemployment as long as they're getting, you know, $2,400 a month on top of their state unemployment to sit at home, spend time with their families, and I, and I don't blame them. I mean, you know, who wouldn't want an extra $2,400 a month? I mean, that's just, a, of course they do. So, there, like I said, there's still talk about tax credits. There's talk about uh, increase in food stamps. There's talk about increase in uh, welfare uh, cash benefits. There's, there's all this talk, and it's all it is. Talk, talk, talk. I'm just... I'm trying to give you guys the, the actual facts based on the data available. There is no definitive anything. You know, they haven't even decided on whether or not there will definitively be a phase four stimulus. You know, so it's all guesswork. 
So all you channels out there that are saying yes, definitively, you know, stop clickbaiting people. Some of these videos are 30, 40 minutes long. And of course, you watch the whole thing because you don't want to miss any information. Don't, you know, it's frustrating to see that. You know, just people are desperate for, for facts. They want to know, yes, are we getting it? No, are we not getting it? What is the truth? I'm bringing you the truth. There is no set in stone package. The only thing that has actually been triggered is the EIDL loans or grants that I've discussed in the last two videos. I hope you've applied. I know a lot of people have gotten an email saying uh, more information is required uh, you know, or information in, is not totally valid. A lot of people have gotten that, especially if you're filing as an independent contractor. That's it's just common. I mean, I got it. I clicked the button. There was nothing more for me to fill out. All of my information is the same. So I did nothing. There was nothing more to be done. I'm waiting for the actual uh, decision on my application. Don't panic if you get this email. Just do what you can. If you don't know what your business name is, then it's you your name you know I've had a couple of people that have said what is my business name if I'm an independent contractor it's your name so again if you apply for this loan fill it out truthfully do not lie because they will come after you if you lie so keep that in mind uh, as far as any other information going on I know there's still protesting going on across the country I know we have some people out in the field that are trying to record what's going on, and I commend them for doing so. Uh, thankfully, all the, the ridiculous rioting and looting and all that has subsided, so that's good at least. Um, anything else that happens, I mean, I know there's been some more police shootings that have happened. I'm not going to speculate on a lot of it because a lot of the information is being withheld right now. There are ongoing investigations. I tried to dig into a couple different, I even tried to reach out to a widow of a, a gentleman that was killed by the cops, but, you know, they, uh, she's been bombarded by press, so her uh, public relations uh, representative sent me an email basically saying, thank you for inquiring, unfortunately, she's not available, which I get, I'm not going to push, so I just hope that her and her family can get justice for what happened. Uh, other, other than that, no other real news has come up that I really feel should be covered in this. So, I won't take up any more of your time. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again for watching Nutshell News, and I'll see you on the next one.